Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. We are starting a little early today because we are all here and we all don't know when we are going to have to leave. So, so hello, um, welcome back, um, Aiden and Wooly. Yes, it's glad to have you here. I'm so glad to be back, Zero. It's been quite nice. Every time you talk, it makes me want to slap you. Yeah, maybe I should keep doing it. Hey everyone, it's Aiden less again. He's less and less every time he comes back. Oh yeah. Less alive, less happy, less motivated. Well, I make sure to see to that. <laughs> yep. I was gonna say, um, in case anybody was wondering from the from the last video and or VOD, depending on how you're seeing this, I am back in Thorntail Hollow. That's because I realized that if I had gone to Walled City like I was supposed to, there was a point point of no return in there. And because of that, if I had chosen to go in that direction, then I would not be able to get all the cheat tokens and not effectively 100% the game. So... For right now, I'm going to try and finish up getting the cheat tokens. You'll have to catch, you'll have to catch up, Slippy, because it's the only time that we're going to be going to, um, to, a moon, moon shadow pass. But yeah, um, I was going to say you were. I was going to say before the stream was. Before the stream started, you were talking about, um... You were talking about, um... What was it? Jason Bourne again? Ah, uh, yes. <clears throat> An edit of a... Of the Jason Bourne tra trailer, in which we have the, uh... The people standing in the control room watching some kind of, uh, security feed and the quote of, Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. But they edit it so that the footage that's playing is a reenactment of the resurrection of Christ, where he rolls away the boulder and then starts kicking the asses of all the centurions in front of him with crazy kung fu moves. And then we get the line, Jesus Christ, it's Jesus Christ. Yep. I was gonna say, um, I was saying, like, I kind of wish that um, was, Nate, was called um, Jason Bourne again. And then I'm reminded of all the whole bunch of um, Christian movies that were released that should have been called Jason Born Again. Oh, because it could have been fantastic. Like, um, I will refer you to the entirety of the Revelation Road series. Oh, goodness. Starring starring the best Jason Born impersonator, David A.R. White. He is the best Jason Born guy. With with his frosted tips. So the whole time it's just him just pretending to be Jason Bourne on this crazy adventure. Oh um. No um. In the first, I was gonna say um. I've seen the reviews, seen reviews of this, so I pretty much know the plot. No, I'm not interested in dealing with you. I already have plenty of moonstones. Um. Oh, it's, I have already to go to slaughtered the end. enough of your kind. Yeah. It says I have to go to the... I'm, I took a look at the thing and said I had to go to the end of Moonshadow Pass. So I just have to find... So I just have to find it out there. Happily, um... Happily, this is the only one in this area that I have to go to. Because otherwise the... Because the rest of the ones that I have to go to are all a straight shot. Oh, well that's nice. Because I have, because I have four of them already. So this, so the one that's here is the, um, yes, I know there's a ton of things near these, these specific tricky, but anyway, the first, th like the first movie was, um, 
was David R. A. R. White being a? I'm trying to being a body a body armor salesman door-to-door -door body armor salesman that's <laughs> interesting well i mean depending on where you live like chicago or detroit that might be a, it's an actual salesman that comes to your door trying to sell you a kevlar vest and body armor yeah, it's a little bit sad when you live in a neighborhood where you have the door-to-door -door salesman coming by and selling you child-sized body armor. <laughs> Yikes. Do you want to be in a situation like this? Eating dinner at your family home when you're mistaken for a member of a rival gang? <laughs> a stray bullet caught inside the roast beef is deflected directly into the chest of your three-year-old daughter. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, because one of the things that, um, one of the questions that's, that is consistently asked by um, one of the guys is, who would you trust, that vest or Jesus Christ? And yes? <laughs> Blood? <laughs> like... But funnily, but funnily enough, um, near the end of the, but funnily enough, like near the end of the movie, I believe his 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 house gets raided, and he gets shot. <laughs> and the irony, he did not have his bulletproof vest on. <laughs> not, did he I'm have the bulletproof about, vest? I'm about about the, the, the shop owner didn't have the body armor on. Well, uh, that's just what happens when you get caught lacking. Here we are. I'm just gonna collect all the cheat tokens before I go to the maze, because the well at the bottom of the, because the well at the bottom of the maze, you actually deposit all the cheat tokens in there. What exactly is the purpose of these cheat tokens? Some of the... I was gonna say, as far as I am aware, unfortunately there isn't something like, say, Big Head Mode. But it's more along the lines of, um, Director Credits... and... <laughs> wow. And that, that's it? You, you have to collect the least. No, there's more. And there's, like, you can have all the characters speak, um, speak dinosaur language and stuff. And there's some, um... That's, that's a lot some, of, um, other not stuff. a whole lot. I, yeah, I, each, I was token ex each token gives a specific thing. But the inf but I don't want to give away all the information regarding it because I think there might be some um, stuff that you want to hear when you get when we get it because some of the yeah, stuff just... is um, let's just say some of the tokens are char are character specific. Okay, because I was hoping for a little bit more. You know, like you go all through all this effort to collect a cheat token, you think like you could just be able to turn it into a crystal to get a night with someone else for the evening. You know. Yeah, sadly no. There's no there's no um, cheat to there's no cheats that changes the character model. Honestly, I wish they'd add stuff like that. Kind of wish I had thought of stuff like that. Um, because this is the era of the because this is the era of the PS2. I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to think. Um, and I think it would be a good idea for you all to look it up. Um, which came which game came first, this or Jack Two? I don't have any idea. Um, I recommend that you take the opportunity to look it up. Okay. Let's see, Jack 2 was released... ...in 2003. Star Fox Adventures was released... ...in 2002. Okay, yeah, so... I was gonna say, but I'm pretty sure there is... There was other games made at the time where you could use some type of cheat code to change the character model in some way. Yeah, dude, be... that was 
That's been around since the N64, or if no, not that's, earlier. No, it's been around since even before like the NES, because because one of the greatest devices ever, the Game Genie. <laughs> I remember, I remember attaching that um, attaching that apparatus to a game cartridge, and then you get this screen where it says "Type in some codes," and it changes and it changes the game. Like you can get Super Jump. Uh, you know you're in for a good time with your game when you put an apparatus first. You plug in the game genie, you rub the device, it comes out, it offers you three wishes. You ask for a sandwich first because you're an idiot. Your second wish, you ask for the presidency. And then your third wish is to not get beheaded by the guillotine. But the problem is, though, when you become president, you just get shot. Or, or even better, freaking straight out of whose line it is anyway. What are your three? What are your three witches? Uh, two chips and a coke. <laughs> that's the only. That's the only way to win with a genie. Just imagine, like, in terribly have intentionally having terrible wishes, and so out of pity, the genie tries to spin them in a certain way where you get more than you bargain for. That's what all. That's what um, most. Um, that's what most of the um, genies tend to do. I'm trying to see if I can. Actually, now I'm trying to think if the door just opens on its own. Aladdin lied to me. Genies are not a friend, like, they're never like a friend you'd never have. What's with all the targets painted on the trees? Oh, um, this I, is, that's how I, you open up the, that's how you open up the gateway to... That's how you open up the gateway to the Lightfoot Village. But the thing is, though, is that now that the thing has passed, I have completely forgotten how to do it. Oh, now you actually have to remember how to get into Lightfoot Village. Yep. Since you don't have your guide over here telling you what order to hit the man. Yeah, the thing is, though, is that... Um, There's only so many combinations. There we go. The thing is, though, since there's only three, you can easily brute force it, and you can actually enter into Lightfoot Village early. Nice. I wonder if that's how most people get into Lightfoot Village. Um, <laughs> most of the time... I was going to say, most of the time, um, you are able to get into Lightfoot Village early. It's just that... Yeah, people are able to get into Lightfoot Village early. It's just that there's not really much to do unless you have the Tricky's abilities. Like, you can unlock all of the... Like, you can unlock all of the stuff in... Like, all the physical stuff in Lightfoot Village. But to be able to enter into this area... Enter into this area here, you need to... Um, come back here and deal with all the trials and stuff. There's a specific a there's a specific area somewhere around here that oh, actually let me do this first. Hey tricky. Come on. Yeah, they actually did um put in a they actually did put in a animation where 
when you feed Tricky, his um, stomach gets bigger. Interesting. They've programmed inflation into the game. Yeah, regardless, regardless of how um, anybody like tries to hide the fact, there is a ton of fetishy stuff in the game. Well, that's just basic game design right there. Okay. Uh, I gotta get your children because you're a negligent parent. I feel like there's an easier solution to this. Instead of finding the three original hey, um, children, we just make three of them for them. Yeah. Hey, I'll be right back. Okay, this so we're just here to entertain the stream for a bit. I found your kids, madam. The these aren't mine. They, they look remarkably like you. They really don't. <laughs> Why are they half fox and half dinosaur? <laughs> it's called being down bad. <laughs> it's called the circle of life. I call it the pigeox. <laughs> the downfall of humanity. The pigeox. Uh, oh, that is such a good show. Just a regular old red. Regular little pigeon with red feathers. <laughs> All right, you can eat it. I can only imagine how insufferable I would have been as a kid if I had these. If I had a Nintendo console. Yeah, and you're insufferable enough now as it is. Oh yeah. I was that one weird kid that had an original Xbox. That one guy with uh, an Xbox and a copy of Viva La Pinata. <laughs> that was Xbox 360, my guy. Yeah, it was. Right, your thing was Blinks the Time Sweeper. Yes. My thing was Blinks the Time Sweeper. Which I, I will die on the hill that it is a good, that it and its sequel are both good games. Then I guess you'll die. Oh, in the forest. I know. Is this just how the Lightfoot Village works? They just all have three babies that they've lost in various places? Yeah, okay. just everyone's, everyone's kids are getting lost within a, what, eight-foot mile radius from their house? Everyone's three kids. Yeah. Specifically, everyone's having triplets, too. That's another thing about this village I don't understand. I do not understand their customs. Maybe they're like armadillos, you know, they always have four. Maybe. Then there's just a ritual to take the smallest one and eat it for nutritional value. Kind of like how uh, in some cultures they eat the placenta afterwards. <laughs> It's a rite of passage for the three siblings to eat the run of the litter. It's how they learn to share and grow as a community. It's all about learning the value of family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still really I'm still really happy that we're not dealing with any sort of lag in the lag in the gameplay or audio right now. Yep. Yeah. 
Get back here, you little shit! Oh, got him. Almost. Oh, he got the jukes. Man, broke your knees. <laughs> no, it's just because there was a um, another one right there. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. sure, excuses. I see how this goes. You, you gotta whip out the staff and shoot him in the knees so he can't run away. There we go. That's one. Oh, that was and two. No, that was... Uh... One set. Ah. One set of quadruplets. It'd be kind of a shame if they grabbed one of the kids and ate them. Would make getting your reward pretty difficult. Yeah. Why do you want bubbles? Do you want to watch the stream? After you clog the shit out of me? Happy to see that there is still the um, bump for dad over here. Also known as an extra life. Please, Fox, please absorb my essence into yours. <laughs> So the cheek tokens are just cheek tokens, but extra lives are boomfa dads. Yeah. <laughs> this game. There we go. Now that I remember. Got all these cutesy little names for everything but the cheat tokens they cheaped out on. Pretty much. Which is the one thing that probably could have used a cutesy name. We haven't found the forest ones yet, then. Yeah. Back in said my babies. Here's your reward. Did you save them or did you just corral them back? Yes. <laughs> You're just kind of a babysitter in this game, huh? Honestly, I can see how General Scales got as far as he did. This planet's kind of inept. He's kind of walked in and just said, I'm ruling the place now. And they say, no, that's mean. And then he says, so what are you going to do about it? And they say, cry. <laughs> Pretty launch, much. A, launch a formal complaint. I'll launch a formal complaint with HR. I am HR. Oh, what we're doing. no. They have a regular meeting every week where they uh, read aloud all the complaints that were given to HR, and then laugh at them. <laughs> They're all red in an extremely mocking and condescending tone. 
Beer General Scales. You <laughs> ran over my village and killed all of my eggs before they had a chance to hatch. I have nothing to live for. <laughs> what a loser. Look at this man. Look at this man. Such a loser. So low energy. <laughs> That's why I say I, I talk to people and they tell me they tell me this guy he's going nowhere he's a loser he has no energy no family nothing to strive for he he looks at his life and he says I have nothing to live for that's the attitude of a loser okay that's why I say people like him they're not going anywhere folks. Are we ever going to acknowledge that there's just some weird entity that has these powerful tokens that he's willing to give away for so low a price, living in these magical wells? Yeah, it's almost like your mother. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if Zero worries about inviting me on. Oh, most certainly. No doubt. <laughs> anyway. You no, know, speaking as Zero. But still, I'm trying to... They say they're like... One's missing in the trees and some missing in the forest. But I'm trying to... Like, they like to be in the trees and they like to be in the forest. I'm trying to figure out where to... Try to figure out where to find them. Could they maybe be outside the village? It's very likely. I still need to... But I got the cheat token anyway, but I don't know if if finding all of the... Finding all these kids is the... Is a part, nope. of, the, part of it as well. I would think it would just get you a magic token, or a magic upgrade like all the rest of the side quests do. Possible. Oh, oh, I think I know. But it's not in the, but I found the ones in the underground. If they're talking about in ones less... in the forest, they have, they need to be in, I think they are supposed to be somewhere in the forest here. This is the only forest area I can think of at least. You think that's Sharp Juice, one of them? <laughs> Time to go back home! <laughs> I think there was one in the maze. I can check the maze. Man, that would be funny if these Sharp Claws are the kids. And <laughs> you just keep beating them up over and over again every time they become bass. They're just out here in the forest. Man, I miss mom. I wish I knew the way home. Hey, there's a fox guy! Let's have Ow! Oh! Ow! That would be very, very sad. <laughs> Can you please find my babies? They look remarkably like sharp teeth, except they're not. It's a genetic defect. Sure, I'll keep an eye out for him, man. Hey, look at those sharp claws! Bam! <laughs> I'm starting to get real worried about my babies. It's been hours. Fox looks at the bloody staff in his hands. <gasps> Oh goodness. Okay. I already got the I was gonna say, um I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the the other two. I'm just gonna go ahead and check down here and then grab the other two um cheat tokens. Can you go ahead and um, look up where the um, locations of the other... Look up the locations of where the other kids are. Because otherwise it's going to take forever. Perhaps. But what's in it for us? Hmm. More stuff to talk about on the stream. Fair enough. I gotta spend more time talking to this loser. Let me see here. Star Fox Adventures Light 
put babies. There we go. Guide part three. Let me see here. 